Hello everyone, this is Mumbo and welcome back to another episode on the Hermit's Craft server. It's episode 47 and today we're going to have a slightly chilled out episode of Hermitcraft. As you guys know, over the past few weeks I've been working on the storage system and I'm extremely happy that that thing is now finished. We're now sorting out all of our items. In fact, in theory, we should have a fully sorted system down underneath, down at the bottom here. We should have all of the items in. There shouldn't be any more going in. I mean, I know this... My word! They're still going in. I was AFK for, for like four or five hours over the <laughs> to wait for these things to go in. And there are still a whole ton that are flowing into the system. Anyway, regardless of that situation right there, we are not going to be working on this thing. As you know, it is completely finished, or at least for the most part, it is completely finished. We still have some areas over here that haven't been sorted out simply because we don't have the items to sort into them just yet. But other than that, we are actually good to go and start work on another project. And the new project that I want to work on is up at the top. I've just pressed the wrong button. It is up at the top. So up over here, of course, we've got the floating diamond sections of the base. Now, I know we did a lot of work on those, okay? And we spent ages doing these things, but now we are going to try and attempt something completely different. And I don't know how difficult it is going to be. This could be one of those things that is really, really easy and gets built really, really fast. Or it could be one of those things that is a massive pain in the backside and goes completely wrong a number of times. <laughs> what I want to do is I want to build the diagonals. So what we're going to have to get up into those floating platforms is we're going to have some diagonal ones of these. So it's going to go up and across and meet over there. And then the one on this side is going to come down and across. And then it's going to go up and across and then down and across like that. So we're basically going to pop up and meet up with these two corners here. And obviously we're going to do that on all four of them. As I say, there is a chance that this could be really, really difficult. I might have to whip out the Pythagoras for this one. I don't really know. Uh, and then, yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we can do and we'll see how cool it looks. So I guess plan number one is I have to count how long this thing's going to be. So I've got to go up the inside edge right here. And then I have to work out what the distance is between this and this one. And then I imagine divide the length of this by the height. Because Pythagoras doesn't really work in Minecraft. That's, ah, oh, yeah, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> but that's to give me how long each length of increment has to be. So it'll go up like that. God, my brain's already getting confused, guys. I'm so used to running into this room to pick up all of the resources that I need. I'm not used to having a storage system. Um, where's all my stuff? I guess I need cobblestone so I can build scaffolding. Where is it? I don't know where anything is. Oh. There's also a problem. That module isn't sorting anything. So the height that we had to go up was 15 blocks, and the number of blocks that we had to travel upwards was 41, which means that... The platforms should be three blocks in length apart from the two end platforms, which gives us a total length of 43 blocks, which is just about right. It just means that I've had to creep in to this area right here as opposed to only starting from this block. And the same thing goes to the other side. But if we run up our little template, I am pretty much almost done. I've just got a few more blocks to place in. It is getting a little bit tricky, especially because apparently I can't play Minecraft. But, now that we have the full template mapped out, I want to go and look and see what this thing looks like from down beneath. Now this is very, very nerve-wracking for me. I'm a little bit terrified of how this is all going to look. I imagine it will look better once we actually get some blocks in, but... Oh, that actually looks really good. Oh man, when we get a full platform in there... That is going to look seriously cool. Oh, that is, yeah. Okay, perfect. That has gone absolutely brilliantly. Wow, I, I was not expecting that to look as good as it does. Okay, next thing that we need to do then is, I guess, replace all of those blocks there with Prismarine and start work on the entire level. I mean, I'll be honest, I don't really understand why I didn't build it out of Prismarine to start with. I knew that's the block that I was going to be using, and it's not exactly like I'm lacking the stuff. 
I probably have more prismarine than I have stone. So that is pretty much that. We're doing the final few little blocks right here running up to the top. Now I have no clue what I'm going to do up at the top. This is one thing. You can see I kind of, I get to a rough point and then the platform just abruptly ends <laughs> because I, I have absolutely no clue what I'm actually going to do when it comes to merging these things together. But for the time being, this should give us a pretty good idea of what the build is going to be looking like. Now obviously it is missing the quartz and the quartz will make a di big difference because that thing is literally just going to look like a big prismarine blob at this point in time. The quartz kind of gives it detail, but I mean, I think it looks quite cool. I do. But maybe there's a little bit too much prismarine that stuff going on. I'm almost tempted to replace it with these blocks. Just to give us a little bit of variety because obviously these ones will be under the quartz so we're not going to be able to see them from on top of the platform. All we're able to see is the sides of them. Like that. And I feel like just too much of that, it's quite a noisy texture as well. It's, it's not my favorite texture in the game, to be honest with you. I much prefer this texture, but it's nice to have variety. And like in these situations, it looks great. It looks seriously, seriously good. But if we, if we replace those blocks, oh yeah, <laughs> there we go. Much better, much, much nicer. Okay, uh, well, I'll swap out all those blocks and then we kind of have a design. This is, this is the way that it's gonna go. Slightly different, but much better. Oh, for goodness sake, I've made my first mistake. Two. Just a two blocker, and then it continues on, which ruins this entire thing. <laughs> good. You know, I was just sat here thinking, these things are actually quite good. They don't take that long to build. We can just crack on and do all of them. You know, they're really quite fast. And then it dawned on me that I was comparing building one of these diagonals to building one full diamond. I was like, oh, it's not using that many resources. I swear these things use more than that. That doesn't make any sense. For some reason in my head, I hadn't quite worked out that I was only building a quarter of each diamond every single one of these I built. <laughs> this is a bigger project than I was perhaps expecting. But I do think that this one is now done, the second one is completed, and this will give us a good idea of what they're going to look like, and boom. Huh. <sighs> ah. I don't know if I like it, guys. I genuinely don't don't know if I like it. I'm what I'm really tempted to do. I've I've got a bit of a plan. Okay, what I'm going to do, and this is going to sound daft, I'm going to build the rest of it. I'm going to build the entire thing. And then I'm going to put in all the quartz. So I'm going to have to go out and mine some quartz, and then I'm going to have to put in everything, like complete it, get it fully, fully done, and then I'm going to leave it up to you guys down in the comment section. Yeah, that sounds like the best idea to me because. I don't know how sold I am on it. I, I don't. I, <sighs> Maybe it needs to be like a little bit thicker. Maybe we need quartz on the underside of it as well. These are all things that I can play around with. Yeah, okay, right. Well, let's build the other two then. It doesn't help that I've built this entire right hand side wrong. That doesn't help at all. One side is completely different to the other side. This one is all finished. We've got everything in place. This is what it looks like. 
it does look considerably cooler now that we've got all four in place. We're not going to wait around. We need to get all of the nether quartz in place and also work out what we're going to be doing at the tops and the bottoms. But most importantly, I think nether quartz. That's, that's probably what I'm going to focus on, as the tops and bottoms just seem far too confusing. This is just a super fast time lapse of me mining out all of the nether quartz in the nether. Now, I have to say, I did get a little bit carried away here, partly because halfway through mining out all of the stuff, or at least, you know, some way into the mining session, I thought to myself, actually, these things do require quite a lot of nether quartz. I should probably get more than just a couple of stacks. And more importantly, I was having quite a lot of fun. Sometimes it's quite nice to just pop off into the nether and go on a bit of an adventure. It was a little bit scary. I didn't have a bow, so I was taking on all of the ghasts with my pickaxe, essentially, which wasn't particularly very good. And also, I was flying around with the elytra and fireworks with absolutely no fire resist potions, which meant that I was kind of flying over lava lakes, getting a little bit nervous towards some points that maybe I'd hit into a block and just fall down into the lava to my death. That would not be particularly good, would it? Traveling like this through the nether definitely seems like a bad idea. But also it is quite exciting in a way. I mean, we're trying to get back towards my base now. And we should actually be almost there. Oh, I have no clue where I've ended up going. <laughs> I think it's off in that direction. There's so much nether quartz lying around though, I think it would be rude not to. He's done it! He has absolutely done it! And he hasn't managed to die, which is also a very positive thing. Now let's see if I can actually get through here without the ghast blowing up my nether portal. Now I gotta say, I don't think we did too badly. Check out those supplies! That should give us plenty of quartz slabs, hopefully just about enough to do one of the diamond things. And now we see it with all the nether quartz. So we've got all of the slabs in place, and if I fly out over here, I'm just gonna quickly fly through, and... I don't know what to think about that. I feel like maybe it's just a little bit too thin. Oh, this is really hurting my head because I'm I'm this has been in my head this idea has been in my head f For ages ever since I built the floaty things this has been the plan. Oh, I Just don't know what to do with it. I Have kind of come up with like a secondary idea That could look quite cool I'm almost tempted to experiment with that on a different one. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna experiment with some other plans. We'll leave that one over there. It does look it just oh it's there's something about it that doesn't look quite right, and I think it might be how thin it is. I think maybe if we beef them up, potentially it could look a little bit better. But for the time being, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to experiment with another plan that I've had. Uh, we'll see we'll see how well that turns out. And then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do like a little vote at the end, I guess. So my plan is to build these sorts of diagonal supports that go up the sides just like that. And they will kind of make their way up through here. And then in the center of this thing, I'm actually going to fill it in with light blue glass. So all of this area here will be fully glassed off. And already I kind of have better feelings about it. Because that is a mess. That's a, that is a mess. <laughs> that is a big four hour mess. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. New plans. Definitely new plans required. Right, let's see what this one looks like. I'm a little bit more nervous for this one, actually. I don't I don't really know why. That is I don't like that. I've I've kind of concluded now that I don't like it. It looks too all over the place. That looks okay it definitely has promise it has a lot more promise than that there's no doubt about it there i maybe a, a different ooh dark prismarine dark prismarine 
We could totally use that. Because I, I was about to say it could do with like a slightly different color. Maybe you could put slabs underneath. See what that looks like. But no, I do quite like the idea of the dark prismarine because that's something that we haven't really used yet in the base. And that is something that I think would look really cool. I also like the slabs. Okay. We have a beginnings of a good plan here. Swap it out of the dark prismarine, add in the slabs. Bada bing, bada boom. Not a fan. Not a fan of the dark prismarine idea. No way. It looks dirty. Okay, uh, swap it back out for the prismarine, add in the slabs. The only slight issue is, is that this design uses a whole bunch of glass and we have fully run out of coal again for like the 15th time. <laughs> uh, I've managed to find this much in the storage system. Hopefully that should just about cover it, but if I just look around here, whereabouts is light blue then? Do we have any light blue dye? Yes. Might be enough. This one is now all done, so we have got both of those in place. And I was originally going to ask the question, do you think it should only have two, as in it balances like that? Or do you think I should do four? But I think flying around, I think I know what the answer is going to be. I think... Realistically, that doesn't look particularly... It does look good, but it doesn't look structurally sound. It looks like if I stood on this block right here, the whole thing would topple over. So I guess, I guess I have got to gather up a whole bunch more glass and put in the other two corners so that this thing is fully being held up. And then I think it will look good. I can't believe I actually thought I even considered this design. I mean, it's quite cool in a way. But it's not, it's not that great. It's a bit all over the place, whereas that looks considerably better. We just, we definitely need those other two corners. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. No, nothing here, no coal. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Oh, that's made me very happy. We have got some coal. Not that much, though. <laughs> really not that much. Maybe there's glass in- <gasps> Yes! Oh! <laughs> how have I- How- I am very wasteful. I'm an extremely wasteful person. <laughs> what the heck? There's stacks upon the stacks of glass. Just- <laughs> Oh. Well, I never. Final few bits of glass now. These are the last ones. Let's do this. Almost there. I have no clue how much glass we've used. It's not actually too bad. It hasn't been horrendous when it comes to glass consumption. It's definitely not as bad as actually filling in the entire area with glass. That's that's pretty next level in terms of glass usage. But let's just see if we just finish this thing up. We should have ourselves a fairly cool looking build. Now, my first impressions are, it almost looks like something out of like a modern art museum. In fact, it almost looks like a modern art museum, <laughs> to be honest with you. It looks like it should be housing modern art. Let's pop on the outside, and there. It does look quite cool. It does look quite good. Yeah, that looks... What do I prefer out of flying? Or that? I feel like maybe there's a chance you might need to light them up somehow. I'll be honest, this project has been so much more difficult than I was expecting it to be. So we have that design there, and that design right there. And then we have that design right there, which is floating, and then we have a completely different design, which I'm going to come up with in the future. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold a pole. I think there's a way that I can hold poles on YouTube using the card. So if a little eye comes up in the top right hand corner right now, that means you can vote on this video. If that little eye doesn't come up, then that means either I've forgotten to put the eye there, 
or alternatively YouTube does not support polls in which case I'll put a link down in the description which will take you through to my Twitter in which you can do the poll over there and also you should probably follow me as well because I'm I'm pretty hilarious so we've we've got we got this design right here so we're going to call this one the glass blades we're going to call this one the wonky walkways we're call, going to call this one infinite propulsion and we're going to call this one over here which hasn't been built yet something else so basically you want me to build something else you don't like this one you don't like this one you don't like this one you want me to do something completely different those are your four options let me know via the poll what you think i should do and then i'm going to base my decisions off that essentially i think that's the plan for the time being because i am undecided i do like it though i think it looks good i think that's horrible that's disgusting it doesn't look like it makes any sense so nobody vote for that one anyway there we go i hope you enjoyed this episode on the hermitcraft server if you did please sure to hit that like button and if you really loved it then make sure to subscribe but thanks for watching guys this has been mumbo and i'm out i'll see you later oh and as per usual check out the filming channel you know what to do link on the end screen